That's the only thing we've got. The flag. Why is it made of plastic? No idea what coat of arms that is. Can we can we wet the flag somehow? Can we go back down to the water? That's the only material we've got. He just said the flag was made out of plastic, didn't he? It's a wet flag. The flag is soaking wet. Okay, we should be able to use that now, shouldn't we? Um, they just started funding developers making stuff two years ago. Especially since the PS2 era, the original producer of the series retired, okay. Right, can I use that to get my fish off of the rock? Okay. I don't understand how that works when it was plastic, the flag, because it wouldn't get, it wouldn't get soaking wet. Can I put the salt onto the fish? No. Can I just give him the fish? Dinner is served, my lord. Okay, he's waking up. Fish? I smell fish. What? Lemon's missing. Barkeep, bring me some lemon. A fish without lemon is like a bottle without whiskey. Barkeep! Can I give you some salt? No. Yeah. Hello. Are you feeling a little better now? Mm. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't matter with some people whether they're awake or asleep. Their communication skills are always in high gear. Uh, can we talk to you now? Hello. I know that you have a lot to do, but can I bother you again? If you have to, yes. Lemon. You probably don't have any lemons, right? My compliments. You learn fast. Well, what else can I do? For Klaus? Yes, he won't eat his fish without lemon. Bring me one, and I may even cut it for you. You're my hero. Thanks for the friendly chat. My pleasure. Just tell me I don't have any lemons. Hello, are you feeling a little better now? Mm. Apparently, it doesn't matter with some people. Can we crush that? Uh, can we put that into there? He he mentioned he mentioned truck drivers, didn't he? Bringing lemons and stuff through. You don't by any chance have a few kind. No, not. He's not want to talk to us now. Are they still biting? If you don't pay attention. He doesn't want to talk to us. We sort of lost the plot after the N64 games. They had one for DS, but Japan only. Yeah. All down to money, isn't it? Was this a dirty sign? Can I can I clean it with a rag? Oh no, I've covered up the sign. <laughs> hey, no locks. Can't stay long. I just want to drop by. Nice to see you. Anyway, hope you're doing fine. We've covered up the sign. Why? You got the truck with the goods for <laughs> the what? market. Maybe he'll stop. You can have the company you want. Oh, 
Okay, there's been a crash. Oh, the truck driver appears to be new. He doesn't know his route and can't read any road signs. Oh, kids these days. I hope nothing bad has happened. I should probably check on the driver. That was your fault for putting the rag over the top when I, all I meant to do was clean the sign. The truck driver appears to have made the turn. I would have never forgiven myself if something had happened to him. There's a crate there though, look. Only healthy stuff. Man, I'm lucky. It even includes a lemon. <laughs> oh, we've got a lemon. Okay, let's go back in. That was very, very convoluted, that. To get a lemon. Can we give you the lemon? I don't have a knife, but it wouldn't hurt the barkeeper to do something for a change. <laughs> You don't by any chance have a few kind words on tap that could brighten my day, do you? No, not really. Just give you the lemon. <laughs> Here, you can give it to your eloquent guest, if your valuable time allows it. Oh, he will definitely be pleased, and hopefully, then he'll shut his mouth for a while. Oh, he's away over with it, okay. Here's your lemon. It's about time. Come and join me. Never expect thanks for anything. Okay, can we talk to you now? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Are you feeling a little better now? Mm. Apparently. I need the key. That's what I needed. The key Hands to get the whiskey. Off. Damn, oh, come on. you can see the key even from back there. <laughs> No. <laughs> I wanted the key. Oh, the tumbler. I don't want to deprive the barkeeper. No, you're not going to. You're going to put salt in the tumbler. If I do it quickly and unobtrusively, hopefully the barkeeper won't notice. Let's see if he tastes the difference. Man, Klaus, watching you eat this whole time is making me hungry. I'm gonna go grab some whiskey. <laughs> it looks as if he actually noticed the difference. Okay, let's grab the key. One thing's for sure. This action is a key scene in this little adventure. <laughs> Making bad puns now. Yeah, let's go back down here. We've got the key. Okay, we have got whiskey. Few full and a couple of empty bottles. They're probably being filled from the whiskey barrels. Anything else? We've got a bench vice. My finger in one of these when I was younger. Hmm. Why do we need a vice? Uh, we've got a fire extinguisher. We've got. A Torch. Let's take the torch. torch. Anything else? Either this is a distillery or the customers here are very, very thirsty. On a board. A long nailed down wood board. The board is nailed down. Can I not prize it off? Hammer it off. No. Okay, let's go and give the whiskey ball to the fisherman. Do you not find though a lot of reviewers get put on to review games of genres that they have absolutely no interest in? 
or have never played any before. So you always get sort of negative reviews from them. Is the offer with the boat and the whiskey still good? Sure. Then I have something for you. Thanks. It won't last very long. But I wanted to head out in a while anyway. I'll just take off as soon as the bottle is empty. Please just tie the boat back up once you're done with it. Sure, no problem. And thanks a lot. You've helped me more than you can imagine. You too. Okay, let's go on the boat to flare. Everything here is completely overgrown and looks rather run down. I wonder if Morangi <laughs> still really lives here. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Help me! It's nice to hear all the down there? Irish accents. Help me in down here. Please help me and get me out of here. Sure. Uh, but how? No idea. Think of something. But I've sprained my ankle and I'm not 30 anymore. So don't just throw me a rope. I never managed to be able to climb one back when I was in school. Is there a ladder here somewhere? I'm afraid not. But there's a door down here that I can't open. Maybe you can find a way to open it from the outside. Sure, no problem. How can I get to that door? You're going to laugh, but I have no idea. I've never been down here before. And I have no idea how to get to the well from the castle. There must be a secret passage or something like that somewhere. You're Ken Morangi, aren't you? Yes, I'm Lord Morangi. Why? Well, if you live here, you should know your way around here, shouldn't you? Well, I always thought that too. Okay, I'll take a look around. Thanks a lot. They, they just divided what they had between them. Uh, the game was not without its quirks. You were spoiled with Mario 64 in the dialogue. It was hard to follow. Teleporting was a nice addition. But having to watch that dragon each time did get old. <laughs> right, we have a passageway. We have a hole in the roof. We've got a door there. We've got another passage there. We've got a well and we've got the well. Okay, let's have a look at the shutter. An old and already slightly moldy window shutter. The rain's quite well done on here, isn't it? Yikes. I only wanted to close the window shutter and already I'm holding the whole thing in my hand. <laughs> this place really needs a major overhaul. Okay. Injured Morangi is sitting down there, waiting for me to finally free him from his prison. Yeah, I'm finding that with a lot of these old games, I need to write everything down. Especially in the Final Fantasies at the moment. Yeah, uh, let's go this way. Candle holder. Burned down almost completely. Can't take it, no. I can go that way and that way. There's a wire there, I think. I wouldn't have spotted that. Okay, we've got some wire. Can I attach the wire to anything? It's a bedroom. Statue, most probably one of the Morangis. The statue is massive and cannot be moved. Hmm. 
Why did we get a help thing coming up? Pictures of landscapes. If I'm correct, scenery around the castle could have served as the setting. Good morning, Scottish Goth. How's it going? Hope it's hope the journey is going okay. Yeah, I'm doing okay. We've got commode. So what do we have here? Knee socks? Long underwear. We're in. Right. that I might covet from the owner. Oops. What's this? Getting on a bit better today with us. Still getting stuck with some really obscure solutions to puzzles. An absolute dream. I could get any woman with something like this. Only Nina were here. There's not even a single poster on this bed. Look. Somebody needs to put up some posters. Uh, what we got? We got curtains. Heavy curtain. Looks like it could be made of brocade. Yeah, can we open it? What was that we got? A gold coin. Where did we get the gold coin from? A passageway. <gasps> a secret a passageway. Into a dark passage. It smells rather moldy. Oh, well, that's the way to the well. Waiting for me down there. The well. The well is definitely waiting Typical for you. Typical Irish weather. Actually, one should simply stay in bed on days like these. The pictures appear to be very old. It's quite possible that the land here looked like this a couple hundred years ago. Cinnamon doing okay. Uh, we have a gate. Have no clue how I'm supposed to get through the bars. We've got to throw the rock over to that niche. There's a niche in the rock, but I niche. can see if there's something in it from here. It's called a niche, not a niche. I have no clue how I'm supposed to get through the bars. No, you have to throw the stone over to the niche. No? Okay. Uh, she's sleeping. The other on the backpack on your lap. Her legs are going dead. <laughs> Uh, no doubt the gameplay in combination of the mainline Goemon. I keep wanting to say Geomon. It's Goemon. Games is fresh and new to this day. Can we throw the coins over to there? No. Can we do anything here? Can we hurl this board over? No. No. Right, so this is not the right way. I thought it would have been. This statue's got something. We need to do something with this statue. The statue is massive and cannot be moved. You're just a wimp. What was that? Like I accidentally triggered some kind of mechanism again. <gasps> Is that like a shield? I gave him a shield, look. <laughs> Maybe he needs something in this hand as well. Give him the torch. No? Oh, I thought we could have put the torch on there. Hopefully you'll finish revamping your stream so you can start speed running and running the damn game. Okay, we need to put a second thing in this horn, don't we? Uh, can we put the coin in your hand? Cup. Stone. Take this thing away. The statue is massive and cannot be moved. Okay, we do not have whatever it wants. We are going to chew on some soap. Enjoy your slippery time. It's 
it's been very confusing. The, 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 some of the solutions to the puzzles are very obscure. A torture chamber. I think something like this in a museum is really amusing. But when I look around here and imagine that people really were tortured to death here, I don't find it so funny anymore. Uh, we have an Iron Maiden. It's obvious why that thing is called the Iron Maiden. Thorns are so sharp, I wouldn't touch them voluntarily either. And then we've got Metallica over here. I don't want to imagine what these used to be used for in the torture chamber. How far? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm see how many sort of areas we've got. We're quite far through, I think. Let's see if I can find some headings. Um, secret. Let's have a look. Where are we? Um, sort of one, two. Well, there's maybe only like two more areas to go. Yeah, we've just got two more areas to go. So we're about seven ninths of the way through. And then we've got the pleasure of playing the second one, and the third one, and the spin-off one. <laughs> yeah, I've done, I've done, we played this last Sunday as well. No, not last, last Wednesday, sorry. Um, it's quite long. Why would we do that? P players with a gold coin. See, some things just don't make sense. Like, wh why have we done that? We don't know. I just, just put it together. We've got a fireplace. The coals are cold. Yeah, need to light them. Uh, we've got a thing over here. I did. Yeah, I finished laser shoot, Laurie. Um, Mood decoration. Th now, see, there, there, the puzzles on that aren't too convoluted. And then you've got some sense of humor in it as well. Hey, we've got iron chain. They were probably used to chain up prisoners in earlier times. Um, well, you can. You can, you die. I played both of them actually. The I got sent the first one as well. Uh, this is the first game, and then this is the second game. There we go. They're all there. Right, we've got a chain. We can't put that on there. I can't put that. In there. I can't put it anywhere there. Can we put it anywhere here? No. Right. We can maybe use the chain to pull the statue. Candle holder. I can't put that on the candle holder. No. This. I just. I keep feeling something should go on there. I can't imagine that the lord of the castle wore a simple chain around his neck. He must be missing a pendant or something. Is that going to make a pendant? No. Right, so we need something fancy on on the chain to make it into a pendant. Right, let's go back up and out and down the other passageway.
We have a torch. I'm assuming that the torch is always burning here to honor the dead. Yeah, that's why we're going to nick it. The torch is fastened to the wall. I won't be able to get it off there so easily. <laughs> Can we just light this one off without one? There we go. Right, we have a burning torch. The flame is not hot enough to melt the gold. That's interesting. So we need to melt the gold somewhere. The coffin is made of massive stone. No chance. You're such a wimp. I believe this is the last resting place of one of Lord Morangi's ancestors. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, what's this up here? It almost looks as if the chimney has a helmet on. Oh. Can't throw the stone up there now. How do I get up there? Can I not just drop the chain down to him? Or the wire. Oh, can I go this way as well? Well, that's back to the boat. Please, row across the lake twice, and already my arms are ready to fall <laughs> off. I really should exercise more. Right, where? Where was there a fire, please? Oh, bench vice. Look, can we do that on there? No. We can obviously use this bench vice for something, otherwise it wouldn't be there. <laughs> the fisherman's away. What was down here? Bottles. Oh, nice collection. They aren't all from today. Can I take some? No. A rain gutter. What do I need a rain gutter for? Anyway, it's just lying around here in the way. Oh, nobody's here and the fire's out. The barkeeper's best friend. I don't want to deprive the barkeeper of his best friend. Okay, there's nothing else in here, so we're done here. <laughs> right, there's nothing here. I think it must be back on the island. We've missed something here. Can I knock the... Th this chimney cover is definitely something, isn't it? I can't combine any of these things. <laughs> See, we've got a fireplace. Can we not just set that light? Oh, we can. Aha. Aha. Right. Can I put that in there? No. Can I put the cup in there? No. Can I put that in there? I think I'd better take the coin out of the fire again. Otherwise, the gold will flow into the forge. Uh, 
How, what do I do with the gluing thing? <laughs> definitely show your pets. Yeah, definitely show your pets. <laughs> extremely hot yeah it would be so what do we do with this P players with a red hot gold coin can I hammer it with a stone no <gasps> can you put it in the Iron Maiden why would I put it in the Iron Maiden the tip easily penetrated the gold coin I think I'd better not imagine how it would look if I were stuck between these thorns. Hmm. Okay, we've got a red hot gold ring now. We could put that over. What do we do with that? This is getting very obscure. <laughs> very obscure again. Can I can I put that on his finger? Oh. oh. Can I go back to the boat? Can I get more water in here? Can I dunk the hot metal into the cold water? Yeah. Okay, we have a ring. Ring a ding ding. Can I put the ring on here? I can. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Okay, back down here. There, both gates are open. Right, I need to put something in there. Because we've got a bridge. The distance to the other side is not particularly great, but to jump over the drawn up bridge, that is something that somebody has obviously tried before. Just a skeleton there, look. <laughs> On spikes. What do I need to put in there? Can't hurl that over to the bridge, no? And pull it down. There's a niche in the rock, but I can't see if there's something in it from here. How do we get this bridge to come down? The distance to the other side is not particularly great, but to jump over the drawn up bridge, that is something that somebody has obviously tried before. We're sl slowly building up some um, sound effects. Like the Ruby does actually make sound effects if uh, subscribers play it, yeah. or me singing anyway. Ruby, 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 Ruby. It's just me singing that one. We're trying to. <laughs> We've got quite a few new ones, like coffee and stuff like that. Then bonk. I, I, what am I meant to do here? Um, is, have I missed something? How do I get the bridge down? Can I not just hurl a stone at the bridge? There must be a lever somewhere or something. I think we've done everything in here.
He's got his gold ring on. The statue is massive. It cannot be moved. The statue, most probably one of the Morangis. Glen Morangi whiskey. So there's nothing else in here. What about putting a chain on here? I'm actually quite happy with my figure as it is at the moment. Can we not put a chain on there? No. See, that would make sense, putting a chain on there. Now the fire is extremely hot. I'm actually... What's the point of this candle holder? I can't believe there's only the the one thing we could do in here. The torch is fastened to the wall. What's this? What's this rain gutter for? Right, something must work in this vice. Well, this board, I need this board off of here. Okay, we've now got a board. Can we use that to get across to the bridge? Can we use the board on the vice? No. Let's go back again. I'm getting nowhere with this board. No, you're not. Like I'd always be afraid of destroying something or someone. Oh, we can't take the board out. Right, so the board is in here. What can we do with the board? Can't cut it, can't do anything with it, can't put it in the vice. What? This game never lets you pick anything up that you can't use in the room that you're in. So why is it done at this time? What's the point of the board here? Is our bar all missing? Either this is a distillery, or the customers here are very, very thirsty. I pinched my finger in one of these when I was younger. Do we have any water that we need to redirect?
Oops. <laughs> I hit the F12. <laughs> Getting nowhere with this board. At this length, I'd always be afraid of destroying something or someone. Anything new appeared in this room? No. Can we not use that brain gut run to get across this bridge? No. There's just these two things here. Bridge and niche. What's that? When did that sword Probably appear? Be a knight of the round table to pull the sword from the stone. I'll give it a try. Maybe I was King Arthur in a previous life. When 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 did that, that appear? Surprises me a little bit. Oh, and I haven't done this door as well. Can we go in through this door? Oh, we can't. All oh, right. Okay, we haven't been in here. <laughs> I forgot there was a third door in the court. Right. We have got a stool. Small stool. Uh, we've got a chimney. It's as if this fireplace has not had a fire burning in it for a long time. Is that the door I came in at, or yeah? Got a really chandelier. Nice chandelier. Got a chair. I ask myself why the chair is in the middle of the room. The painting is of Lord William Morangi, who lived here from 1270 to 1305. What an impressive guy! Okay, so this shows you that he's got a shield, possibly a ring. Can't really tell, but he's got a sword. Okay. So we need to go back, put the sword on the statue. So we should have come in here first to get some clues. This clock says quarter to seven. It has obviously stopped running. That's funny. The pendulum is still moving. Can we take the pendulum? No. Uh, where are we now? We've got a bell. An oil lamp, sorry. An old oil lamp. It seems to have plenty of oil in it, too. Okay, let's take that. Uh, it's Max. We've got books. Most of the books don't really interest me. But here's a book about haunted castles. It talks about Morangi's castle. It says that there's a rumor that William Morangi, who lived from 1270 to 1305, was buried without the usual customs and traditions, and they even refused to give him a funeral pyre. He was entombed in a sarcophagus wearing only a simple robe and his family's amulet. They say he's been walking through the castle and seeking revenge on intruders after midnight ever since. Even if I don't believe in ghost stories, I should probably finish rescuing Morangi from the well before midnight. 
got our oil lamp. Can I put that over the top? No. Um, Although the tips of the spears are very old and I've already seen action, they are still pretty sharp. Can we take them? Don't know what they're for. Uh, we've still got something back here. Lever. He's going to say lever, isn't he? The chain moved a bit. I think I'd better release the lever again. Otherwise, the chandelier that's hanging from the chain will fall down. There's the chain. Let's go downstairs. Oh. Can I... Can I do anything with this? What did... What, what did he say there? The chain moved a bit. I think I'd better release the lever again. Otherwise the chandelier that's hanging from the chain will fall down. Hmm. Can we not move the chair across or something? Can we look in there with the lantern? Let's go put this um, sword onto the statue. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Ah, the bridge is down. Uh, we've got adverts kicking in. Right, what do I put in here? Nothing that we have. There's a small key in it. All right. We have a key. A small key. What is it supposed to be for? It's for a lock. We know that. No clue how I'm supposed to get through the bars. It's quite long, yeah. Um. For the age of the game, it's pretty long. I think most of the, most of how long the game is as well is just me not figuring puzzles out. That's just in there. I don't think there's anything else in here. Can't open this cage up. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot, of, a lot of scenes. What we're meant to do with the key and the spearheads? Can I melt them down for no particular reason? chain moved a bit. I think I'd better release the lever again. Otherwise the chandelier that's hanging from the chain will fall down. Oh. 
Although the tips of the spears are very old and have already seen action, they are still pretty sharp. Right, so we need to do something with a chandelier. I just find this strange that the chandelier is not centralized. It's over this way for a purpose. And the fact that there's two things and it's bang in the middle. I feel like you have to lay something across here and it's not this. Can I melt the spearheads down or something? I don't know what for, but... What was up this way? This was the tomb, wasn't it? Mm. I'll pour lamp oil into the groove that goes once around the sarcophagus. Alright, oh, okay. I didn't see the groove. Okay, can we set that on fire? Let's give good old Lord Morangi a well-earned credit. Why would you think of doing that? Maybe the story about him being a ghost here is actually true because he wasn't given a suitable burial. It's not. It's not ob obvious. But I mean, I just did that on the off chance. I was just going to go through every object I had on me. What was that? Did it suddenly get really cold in here, or is it just me? Did it's I just imagine that, or? Coffin is made of massive stone. No chance. So what did that actually do? This is the last resting place of one of. It's not changed anything here, apart from being very cold. All oh, right, there's an edge. Look, an opening. The opening appears to have been sealed with wax, the color of the sarcophagus. The fire melted the wax and made the opening visible. The coffin is made of massive stone. Can I prize it open? No. Is that a keyhole? Okay. The mortal remains of Lord William Morangi. I thought there was an amulet there. Excuse me, Lord Morangi. I have to save one of your descendants. I hope that your amulet will help me. Right, can I put that on his statue? I have no idea. Put it on a chain. This won't work. I need something else that can help me to attach the amulet to the chain. I pulled the wire through the small eyelet of the amulet. If I turn the other end of the wire into the chain, it should hold. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Okay, back down we go. We've probably still got one gate to open. Yep. Okay. I have no clue how I'm supposed to get through the bars. So I think that's everything on him now, isn't it? Well, no, there must be some one other item. Where was the painting?
There. The painting is of Lord William Morangi, who lived here from 1270 to 1305. There's the armlet, the shield, the sword, possibly the ring. Does he have a hat on? I can't, there's nothing here I can look at. Okay. Um. Pendulum. This clock says quarter to seven. It has obviously stopped running. Quarter to seven. That's funny. The pendulum is still moving. 1845. Right, some we've still got this anvil. So what, we've got the, the spears. Do they work? Oh, they work on the vice. What do we need to do there then? I've now wedged the spear tips into the vice without mutilating my fingers. The ultimate proof that one never ceases to learn in life. And what's that for? The tips of the spears are clamped into the vice, one after the other. Can I whack the board down on top of that? For some reason, I'm going to try to saw the board into a tolerable size. Oh, okay. Right, that board's for the stools, isn't it? Are we going to get this to drop down? It's like a catapult. Hit that and shove something up the chimney. Can... Oh, the chimney was blocked on the outside, wasn't it? Right, let's go do that. Put the stone there. Because it says out here, look. Chimney cover. Looks as if the chimney has a helmet. Helmet. Helmet for the statue. That's it. Okay. Right. Pull the lever. There we go. We've got his helmet. Sounds like I triggered some kind of mechanism again. Okay, the last gate's open. <laughs> it's a vault. It's Vault 54. <laughs> oh. Why can't it be opened? <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, that's the exit. Rubble. It appears the ceiling is caved in here.
life for an I would really like to know how Nina is doing. But I probably interrupt her while she's doing something important. What's the point of the rubble? It appears the ceiling is caved in here. The door cannot be opened. Oops. Bye bye. Hey, Dwayne. You come to help solve the puzzle? I don't know. The ceiling is caved in here. What's it meant to do here then? How are we meant to rescue Moranji? Why can't I open the door? The door cannot be opened. The door cannot be opened. Nothing else here. statue is massive and cannot be moved. Are we missing something from here? Have I still got to put something else on? Statue is massive. And it must be to do with the statue.
Well, we don't have anything else. So why is that not working? 